Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. Today it is a cooker out. I ran to the store and I am uh, roasting. Today's DIY was supposed to be a dupe. I just discovered a little while ago it's just going to be a Lakeside inspired DIY because when I bought flip-flops in Dollar Tree several weeks ago when I did a Dollar Tree haul, I didn't put on my list four pair. I just bought three because I was thinking of, in my mind, I didn't realize there's one odd flip-flop that you need. So you have to have four pair, you have one left. I only have three. So it isn't a lakeside dupe but it is a lakeside inspired DIY. First, I am going to need to paint my sandals. I was looking for plain sandals, but I could not find them. And I went through practically every pair in Dollar Tree. They all had some sort of design. So I'm going to have to cover up the designs on these first before I can actually um, put my letters on them and before I can glue them together. So let's get painting. So now I am removing my tags and the little plastic holders for the sandals. So just going to remove all all that off of them and I'm just going to paint over essentially just to cover up the white And this is going to need two coats, I could tell, but it's hot, it's going to dry really quick, and this part really should not take too long, because I'm only painting the top, I'm not painting the sides, I'm not doing anything like that. Now, if you did get sandals that are plain colored, you can obviously skip this step and go right on to the next step, which is the lettering. But I'm unfortunately doing this as I was not able to get plain, plain colored flip-flops at Dollar Tree this time. So my pink sandals are over here drying and now I'm just going to work on this pair and I'm going to do these green. Definitely will need two coats of paint to cover the white that is on the sandals, the, the design on them.
paint is completely dry so now I'm going on to my next step which is stenciling letters and I will be using white acrylic paint for the lettering. Um, I wanted to use capital letters however my stencils are approximately six inches big too big for this particular DIY so I'm gonna go with the small letters uh, for now and each sandal is going to have a letter all together it's going to spell out summer so I'm mixing them up I'm doing pink blue green pink blue green and I figured I would do stenciling before I actually attach them with E6000. So I am centering my letter S. During my white acrylic paint, it was sitting for a while, so I need to stir it up. And the nice thing about these stencils is they're plastic and any paint that gets on them comes right off with soap and water. So I really don't worry when, when I get um, when I get paint on them. All right, so there is my S. I'll be going o touching over it, of course. While my letters are dry, I'm going to take wire cutters and I'm going to be removing flowers. These daisies are going to be glued one on top of each sandal. The other ones are over here. And um, I have the white and I have yellow. Um, so I'll figure out here how I'm going to do this. But I'm going to hot glue one flower on top of each flip-flop strap. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to put this on my S and this one is going to be on my R. And all I'm doing is just hot gluing onto the top of the strap. Okay, like so. Oh, that looks cute. All right, so here's my R. And these flowers were left over from a previous DIY. Um, my sunflowers when I bought them I had also bought the one bouquet of flowers by mistake because um, I originally was going to mix daisies with sunflowers so glad in a way that I did get them uh, because they came in handy now and now, to finish this DIY up, we're going to be attaching all these sandals together. There's a very small space where they can 
two small spaces where they can actually be hot glued. just holding them tightly together like so. And I'm just going to repeat. Same thing. Now with the left attaching to the back of the right, there is more space to actually glue. So that's a good thing. craft stick here and I'm going to attach one right here Pretty much trying to attach a craft stick where where um, the glue is and this is in the back so nobody is going to nobody is going to see. back here with hot glue as well. All right, last step is attaching our rope. So I'm using some Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm going to be using this No Oreo. Nope. Don't even think about it. No. 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 D no. He wants to go after a fly. And I'm not done with my DIY, so sorry, buddy. All right. So, in the picture of the lakeside decoration, the rope is attached behind... Okay. Oreo, come on. Get down. Get down. Oh. Honestly. The rope is attached behind the second and the fifth. Okay, so I have six flip-flops, so it would be U and E. Okay. So... All right, so I'm gonna cut the nautical rope right about, well, I'll give it a little bit more, right about there. Wow, is that hard to, hard to cut? Do 
come on. Never realized it. Jeez. Yikes. Holy Moses. Wow. Well, that is pretty good rope for a buck, guys. I'm telling you. That's... Whoa. Good Lord. That is crazy. All right. So... I'm going to flip this back over this way because rope is going to be attached here. All right. So, let me see. Probably going to have to attach it right about there, yeah, right about there. down for a moment. <sighs> and give it a little reinforcement back here too. And there it is, guys. I think it is so darn cute. So cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is adorable. Really, really cute. Definitely, definitely has a summer vibe to it. It really, really does. I am really, really, I love it. I, I really do. I am really super excited with how cute this turned out. Well, guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching and helping my channel grow. Take care. I will see you on the next one. Good night.